First Chronicles 27. <clears throat> David's going to be dying soon. Not only has he set up his house, but what we're reading, he's setting up the Lord's house. Making sure everything's getting done, getting taken care of. So when Solomon takes over and Solomon builds and everything's set forth, it's ready to go. Now the children of Israel, after they, their number, to wit, the chief fathers and the captains of thousands and hundreds, and their officers that served the king in any manner of the courses. And we're going to be talking about these courses. Courses is a set of things. If you go to school, you have courses and classes. Uh, you have courses of meals. It's just groups of sets, which came in and went out month by month. So these are by months. Throughout all the months of the year, of every course, that's the first time that word shows up, where 20 and 4,000. So it's a charge, it's a course, it's, it's an event. Over the first course of the first month was Jezebim, the son of Zabdiel, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. Of the children of Perez was the chief of all the captains of the host for the first month. So here's the order, here's the names, here's David doing everything, setting it all up. No room for doubt. You're not going to usurp the authority of the king. And as God and Jesus Christ has things set up by them. There are people out there who date the rapture. and date. The, uh, God says no one knows. God has a set date and you're not going to overwhelm. You're not going to override and you're not going to conquer God. You're not going to conquer David. And over the course of the second month was Dadai and Ahoyai. And of his course was Melchloth, also the ruler. In his course, likewise, were twenty and four thousand. The third captain of the host in the third month was Benaniah, the son of Jehoiada, a chief priest. So here's the priest, here's the Levite. And in his course were twenty and four thousand. This is that Benaniah, all right, side note, who was mighty among the thirty and above the thirty, and in his course was Ahimbad, his son. So this is one of David's mighty men. The fourth captain for the fourth month was Asahel, the brother of Joab, and Zebiah, his son after him, and in his courts were 24,000. That's David's family, verse 7. That's of David's aunt. The fifth captain of the fifth month was Shimhuth, the Israelite, and in his courts were 24,000. The sixth captain for the sixth month was the son of Ikish, the Tekoite, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The seventh captain for the seventh month was Helis, the Pelonite, of the children of Ephraim, and in his course was twenty and four thousand. The eighth captain of the eighth month was Sibekai, the Hushadite, of the Zarhites, and in, the, in his course were twenty and four thousand. The ninth captain for the ninth month was Ebezer, the Aniotite, of the Benjaminites, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The tenth captain for the tenth month was Maharai, the Neph the Nitophite of the Zerhites, and in his course twenty and four thousand. The eleventh captain for the eleventh month was Benaiah the Pathite, two different men, same name, of the children of Ephraim, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The twelfth captain for the twelfth month was Heldei, the Neph Nephophathite, of Othel, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. So, the Jewish calendar, like our calendar, has twelve months of thirty days each, and the first of every month is the new moon. Furthermore, over the tribes of Israel, now David's going to set forth. There's twelve tribes. David's going to set captains over the twelve tribes. <clears throat> the ruler of the Reubenites was Eliezer, the son of Zechariah, of the Simonites, Shephatiah, the son of, of Malachi, of the Levites, Heshbaniah, the son of Kenul, of the Aaronites, Zadok. 
This is the birth order of Judah, Ehi, one of the brethren of David, David's family, of Issachar, Amri, the son of Michael, Zebulun, Ishmael, the son of Obadiah, Naphtali, Jeremoth, the son of Azrael. Of the children of Ephraim, Hosea, the son of Amaziah, of the half tribe of Manasseh, Joel, the son of Pediah, of the half tribe of Manasseh, and Gilead, Idio, the son of Zechariah. Now remember, Manasseh split into two. Half of Manasseh, uh, half of Manasseh is on the east side of Jordan, half are on the right side of Jordan. There are two groups of Manasseh. Of Dan, oh wait, that's, uh, verse 21, the sons of Zechariah, of Benjamin, Jeshio, the son of Abner. Of Dan, Azrael, the son of Jehoram, these were the princes of the, the tribes of Israel. Twelve. Twelve months, twelve tribes, twelve is a Jewish number. David's not leaving anything out. But David took not the number of them from twenty years old and under, because the Lord had because the Lord had said he would increase Israel like the stars of the heaven. So David said, no one under 20 count. Joab, the son of Zeruiah, began to number, but he finished not because there fell wrath from it against Israel. You'll find that in chapter 21. That's where David says, you know, the, the Lord, uh, you know, had David count. The devil had David count. Joab says, you know, king, he's kind of foolish. We've got so many people, we're going to rely on God, not the number. David says, go out and do it. Where this word of a king, there's power. Joab did it. He kind of haphazardly did it. And we get further information to see the numbering stopped. It looks like Joab came back. He gave the number. And David is like he's going to send them back out and get a further number. Then that, I think it was Gad. I think he's the one that came and said, you've got three things to pick. Run before your enemies. And pestilence. And then famine. Those are three things you get. So the numbering was not over. And I'm going to come, not a conclusion, but I'm going to say of my own words that you do not have to believe according to this. And back in chapter 21, I think David was going to send Joab right back out. Joab did not have his heart in it. The angel stopped. And over the king's treasures, now we're looking at treasures again, officers. 25 to 34, we're going to look at what America calls the cabinet posts. Those offices in charge under the king of things that need to be in charge of. David is not letting anything go amok. David is not going to leave anything to chance. Authority. And if you are a Christian and you do not recognize authority, you're not a Bible-believing Christian. Because look what David does. And over the king's treasures, that's David's safe, David's stock, was Asimuth, this, that's a good name, and son of Adil. And over the storehouses, in the fields, in the cities, and in the villages, and in the castles, so wherever the barns are, wherever the the uh, the lots be, wherever be the storage places, wherever there's a garage, wherever there there is in a field, the city, Noah's castles, that's in the Bible. Was jo John Jehothan the son of Uzziah? So this man, he gets he's in charge of a lot. He's got to travel around, and over them. That did the work of the field for tillage of the ground was Ezrai, the son of Shalom. Those are the farmers. Those are the men that go out and plow, and plow the field. Guess what? Over the farmers, we got somebody in charge. You got to give account to that man. Over the vineyards, where the grapes are and the wine, was Shimei the Remethite. Over the increase of vineyards for the wine, cellars, was Zabadai the Shimonite. 
Now that cellar is the first and verse 28. The only two places you see cellar in the Bible. So what does David have here? All right, he's got a man in charge of the vineyards. Vineyards, you got grapes, raisins, and grape juice. That grape juice is is, bottle, is, is put into bottles, is put into kegs, and is put into a cellar. David has a man in charge of that wine cellar. Over the olive tree and sycamore trees. Now, sycamore is a tree that used the wood. Various products. I found out that there is a fruit on the sycamore tree, but I couldn't find out if it was edible or not. So here's olive trees in the land. Olive trees grow great in this area. David has rulers over them. And then over the olive trees, also the sycamore trees that were in the low plains was Baal Hanan, the Gitterite, knows that name, that name Baal. And over the cellars, that's the second and last place, of oil was Joab. So the olives are ha harvested. Someone's in charge of that. The oil that is made from the olives, they have a person in charge over them. Over the herds, cows, goats, whatever the herds, that fed in Sharon was Shitterai the Shimonite. So he has a specific area of sharing of the herd. All right, you are in charge of that. Over the herds that were in the valleys was Sephat, the son of Adai. The ones that are over there in that valley, you're in charge of that. Well, I tell you, you know what? We need David in the, in the United States government. That guy's giving jobs out. He's not putting it under one office. He's not giving one man is in charge. Of my, he's giving it all out. Over the camels. Also was a boil, the Ishmaelite. That's the only place that word shows up. That's kind of interesting. And over the asses was Jethro, the Myrnaite. So you don't lump the camels with the asses. You don't lump the asses with the camel. There's one guy over that. Camels were one form of transportation. Asses were another form of transportation. Asses were used as, as you would call today, dump trucks, pickup trucks. They were also, asses were also the king's limousine. David rode upon a mule. And over the flocks was Jesus, the Hagarite. All these were the rulers of the substance, which was David, which was King David's. So he has treasures, verse 25, and he has substance. It may not be treasures. Things in maybe the cupboards of David's house. Maybe, you know, the linen. Somebody was in charge of something. And Jonathan, David's uncle, another family member, was counselor, a wise man, and scribe. That's the guy who write. He's a recorder. He writes things down. He may have written this. I'm not sure. I don't know. And Jehiel, the son of Hakamaniah, was with the king's sons. And Athahel, or Athahel, was the king's counselor. Now, later on, he's going to kill himself. At the rise of Absalom, he's going to go with that. He's going to go with Absalom. He's going to you know, let's go kill David. Hushai the archite, that's David's friend, was David's companion. Hushai is used for David to find out, hey, what's going on? And after him was Ethel, the Jehoiada, the son of Benaniah. We just read about him in our family reading. He's of the priest. And Abiathar, here's the priest. And the general, that's the first time that shows up. And the only other place you see general is Hebrews 12, 23. And I believe that place is about Jesus and it's not a position. The general of the king's army was Joab. So everyone had a place and every place had somebody. And we're going to be continuing to read on and we're going to get more into the temple. We're going to get more into what David is establishing in the land of Israel. You know, this is a type of Jesus Christ. When Jesus Christ comes and takes that throne of David in, in Israel, in Jerusalem, in the millennium, he's going to say, you're the priest, you're the Levites, you get that city, you get that city, 
You get those cities. You don't get those cities. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. It's the same thing that, that Jesus Christ is going to do what David did. He's going to set a throne. He's going to set order. He's going to set orderly. He's going to have a possession. He's going to have a material. He's going to have everything already played out. Order. God does things orderly. And so does David.